ground floor? Uh, yes, lobby three. Gotcha, gotcha.
Anybody know anything about electricity? Nope. All the times I've ridden this elevator and it has to stall today at 5.30 on Christmas Eve. Well, there's got to be something we can do. Anybody have any ideas? Yeah, I saw Magnum P.I. one night, I was watching it, and Magnum and Higgins were jumping up and down in the elevator trying to get it to start working again. <laughs> Leave it up to you to come up with something, but uh, you watch a little too much TV. And somebody could get hurt if this thing falls or the table breaks. Well, no one else has come up with a better suggestion. Can't be too far down. We're stuck between the first and second floor. Why don't we try it and just see what happens? I don't, but I mean, it's worth a try. Better, better just stand around twiddling our thumbs. Might as well try. Maybe it won't kill us. Okay, everybody, <laughs> be prepared to drop. Ready, set, go. <laughs> See, I knew it wasn't going to work. Do you have to be such a pessimist about everything? Ever since you got this elevator, <coughs> nothing but negative. Can't you be positive? together. I think 
think maybe we can figure a way to get out of here. Why don't somebody try looking up through one of those panels? Maybe there's a way to get out through there. Now, that's an idea. Okay, I need something to stand on. Oh, well, uh, don't look at me. I forgot to put the ladder in my bag this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got an umbrella. Maybe you can use it to lift up one of the panels. Hey. See if it's big enough to crawl through. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I see. Uh, no, no, I, I, no, I don't think that's going to work. There's just too many wires, <laughs> cables, and all that good stuff. Sure, I just think you could squeeze through there. Are you crazy? No way, not in that tiny space. It's too dangerous. No telling what could happen with all those wires. Oh, it's worth a try. Oh, did it hurt you? I'm sorry. Not very much, but it looks like you need to go and put your bag down. I think we're going to be here for a while. And I didn't get much of an off chance to go shopping earlier. I know what you mean. Yeah, I was so busy, I was fixing a float for the parade earlier, and then after the parade, we had to do all the cleanup. And then I was in charge of the Christmas decorations committee at work, and if that weren't enough to do, I also had to decorate the Christmas tree at home all by myself, because my husband wasn't helping me. And I know as soon as I get home, he's going to ask me to wrap his gifts for him, because he'll be busy putting up the Santa Claus and the reindeer, because he always waits to the absolute last minute. And like I said, it's just a rush, rush, rush. Just like my husband always thinks about this time of year, go home, turn the TV, sit on the couch, watch football until <laughs> after the Super Bowl. They yeah, all men are the same. Uh, whoa, 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 wait a minute now. Not all men are the same. Well, what are you going to do for Christmas? Well, I'll probably take pictures of my kids, opening their gifts, probably carve the turkey, you know. And after that? I don't know. You know, we'll, if, we'll eat. If nothing else is going on, I may, I may sit down and watch just a little bit of TV. Oh, yeah. Well, I hear there's a football game right at 1, right after dinner. Who's my point? Hey, hey, I, I don't just lie around the house all day watching football now. Come oh, on. right, because you get up at halftime to go microwave a bag of popcorn and spray whatever you can find in the fridge. Hey, this isn't fair. <laughs> I'm outnumbered here. Hey, don't feel bad. You're no worse than any other husband. Oh, That's yeah. why we really love them. Yeah, I, well, I guess you ladies aren't any worse than any other wife. Uh, hey, the famous housewife Creed, shop till you drop. That, that sucks. I wonder if they'll have anything left when we get through it. Oh, if you're like me, you had to buy about 800 gifts for everybody you know. And that's what it seems like. If you don't get everybody a little something, they don't think you don't care. And if you don't get them something, they will not let you forget it for the rest of the year. Yeah, especially <laughs> mothers. <clears throat> Isn't that the truth? One year, I forgot to buy gifts from Mom and Daddy for their anniversary. Every day for six weeks, I heard about it. Uh, uh, ma'am, ma'am, are you okay? You don't look so good. Are you all right? She's fine as a sheet. Yeah. I'll be okay. I just need some air. Sanders, she looks hot. Thank you, young lady. Lady, there's not many people who will help an old lady anymore. We don't want you to get sick on us, especially right here at Christmas. Well, it wouldn't be the first time, and I can't say it would be the last time either. But who knows? The Lord may come before the next Christmas. That's right. What do you mean by that? What makes Christmas different from any other time of year, other than all the crowds and all the hassle? Well, there's a big difference. Really? What? Yeah, really. Really. It's just another mindless celebration, you know, that everybody just has to endure because somebody wants to make a buck. That's exactly my point. Christmas has gotten so busy, people forget what it's really all about. Yeah. You know, right. sometimes we do tend to be in a rush, but I don't think we've really forgotten what Christmas is about. I just think we haven't made the time, you know? No, we haven't forgotten at all what it's about. I'll tell you what it's all about. It's all about waiting in lines at the mall. It's all about buying gifts for every Tom, Dick, and Harry that comes along. It's about being drafted on a another Christmas and if that's not enough, it just goes on and on. That's what we do at Christmas, and that's what happened to us. There's no doubt about it, but I think it's sort of like this gentleman said here.
here. In the back of our minds, we know what the real reason is for Christmas is. But we don't make time. We don't appreciate the reason we celebrate. You mean remembering that some uh, religious man was born some 2,000 years ago? That's exactly what I mean. That's just a story from the past. No, that's really the sad part of Christmas. Many people are making celebrating Christ's birth the thing of the past. When that happens, it becomes just another day. Nothing special about it. When I think of Christmas, I think about Jesus being conceived by the Holy Ghost and born of a virgin named Mary. I think about how the King of Kings and Lord of Lords was born in a stable around such humble surroundings. I think about the angels that appeared to the shepherds abiding in the fields to announce his arrival. Rival praising God and singing, glory to God in the highest and peace on earth, good will to men. Yeah. I think yeah. about the wise men who traveled from afar to bring him gifts and worship him. I think about all the miracles he did while here on this earth. I think about how he was arrested and how the crowd cried for him to be crucified, even though he was innocent and sinless. He could have called a host of angels to rescue him from that cross, but Jesus willingly gave his life for you and me. Yes. He knew no sin, but he died to make a way for all mankind to be forgiven. Yes. Yes. He yes. paid my debt that yes. I can never pay. Oh, I give him uh, praise. Thank you, Jesus, for dying for me. But that Lord. wasn't the end. He arose on the third day and ascended yes. to heaven, oh, where he yes. is at the right hand of the Father. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise you. Praise I'm guilty of spending less time remembering that I should also. Yes. So why should we keep making the same mistakes over and over again? We should commit ourselves, commit ourselves to really remembering why Christmas is really Christmas. Otherwise, we might as well just call it Christmas. Maybe if we were to slow down a little, we might start enjoying Christmas a little more. Yeah, even more than that, who was this child born in a manger, born in such humble conditions, conditions that everybody in this elevator would be embarrassed to like sleep in? What child is this we're talking about? We're talking about the child who gave came to save the world, Jesus. And lady, it doesn't matter how you're celebrating your Christmas. I know how I'm going to celebrate the rest of mine. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You know, this makes me feel so much better than I did when I first got on this elevator. Almost makes me want to sing. Well, why don't you, young man? Why don't you go ahead and give us one? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I couldn't carry a tune in the bucket. No. <laughs> go ahead. We'll have to. Oh, I, I no, I really, I couldn't. <laughs> well, okay. well, 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 why not? Why not? I, it'll maybe help it maybe pass the time anyway. All right. <coughs> <clears throat> oh, okay. Silent night. Holy night. All is calm. All is bright. Brown young virgin, mother and child. Holy infant, so tender and mild. Sleep <laughs> Not in their elf. You know, I'm on one 
us take and leave. We may never see each other again. We may not see each other again, but we'll remember. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.